what are some of the things that Biggie used to do that Tupac didn't like? Because I know that um I did an interview with Majesty, and he told me that he'll be around Tupac when Tupac would get mad at some of the stuff that Biggie would take from him. Like, it was an ab lib that Tupac used to do. Baby, baby, and Biggie, he took that. And I know Tupac was mad about that. Yeah, yeah, that that that's a, that's a good example. When we came out, we started smashing Thug Life across the country, and nobody had heard of it before. We were saying, Thug Life, baby! <laughs> and my money, no, we hearing that, it's going down. You know, that was our war cry. And, uh... It seemed like Big Ticket and mm, put a little his, you know what I mean, on it. So, I think we see you. We see you, you know. But, you know, Pac would be furious. Uh, you know, uh, 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 Pac felt the nigga started dressing like him and just started, you know, his whole view was going towards a Pac style. And uh, Pac wasn't feeling it. He it, instead of feeling like uh, uh, um, flattered, he felt insulted. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you're taking somebody's stuff and you ain't giving them credit, I understand why Tupac was mad. I'll be mad too. I mean, and I do recall Tupac doing interviews where he was talking about how Biggie was dressing like him and how he was rapping about Dove like he was. So, you know, I understand, man. Mm hmm. Yeah. But see, and people. It was the way Pac reacted. He always had a legitimate beef, but it was the way he he conveyed that anger to the world. You know, sometimes he'd go too far. You know, and uh, he, but that was just him. You know, there's some people, you got to take them for how they are, you know. Hey, man, I get it, man. I get why Tupac was mad, man. I mean, he had every right to be mad, man, but I want to backtrack, right? I want to backtrack to the Thug Life era. Um, Tupac he used to always shout out a guy named Kato in his music. For the people out there that used to hear Tupac shout out Kato, but they don't know who he is, if you don't mind, can you let the people know who Kato was and what happened to Kato? Big Kato was... Uh, uh, Pac make Big Kato through Big Sight. And, uh, you know, he had a lot of love for him. And uh, he was immediately down with the Thug Life click. Uh, Pac actually got him in a video. And that's the only video he was ever into. Um, um, Gotta Get Mine, MC Breed and Pac. There's a scene with Pac, Kato, and Psych. And that's the only time anybody ever seen Kato on, on, in a video. But Pac always represented for him. And um, he got murdered by a 14-year-old kid for his low rider. And it's, it's, you know, it's hard to say what to do about that. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I uh, had Pac fucked up for a while. Damn, man, that's sad, bro. That's a sad way to go out, man. Over a low rider, bro? Yep. Terrible, man. And you could tell Tupac was hurt by that. You could tell he was real hurt by that, man. But to go back to that Quad Studio situation, right? Everybody keeps saying that Tupac said that Biggie set him up, and he never said that. All he wanted from Big was for Big to tell him who was behind him getting set up. And he was calling himself the King of New York. So, you know, since you're the King of New York, tell me who was behind it. Yeah. 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 That's correct. That's 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 the way Nick was feeling. Uh we we usually, when we was we would move, we would do uh, 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 some scouting or where the hell we was going, who was in the area, that type of shit, right? That's how Thug Life was rolling. We had somebody ahead scouting all the time, right? So if you thinking this is your man, I'm going to get down with my man and these people. They got me. I'm good, you know? And then something like that happens, it's only logical to ask questions. Yeah, man, real talk, man. And before Tupac died, right, he did an interview where he gave an example about how RZA, he got his chain snatched, and he told RZA on the low who was behind it, and he wanted the same thing from Biggie. So he was making that, you know, comparison, like, yo, look at what I did for RZA. I wanted Biggie to do the same thing. So, you know. Exactly. Or lead me out of harm's way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
um, you should be intelligent enough to see what's happening. You know what I mean? And um, he's like, what, you you just going to let me just walk out in front of traffic, just walk out there and just get blown up, right? So, yeah, he felt some kind of way. And not, you know, not only Biggie, but all of, you know, that whole shit, that whole all them niggas, bad boy, whoever, you know what I mean? All them, you know, they all claim to love Pac. We love, you know what I mean? <clears throat> and Pac had seen seizing them in the window, tell them, come up, yo, come up. You know, it was like, it was weird. If you notice that the whole scenario was weird. They were shoot bad boy was shooting a video around the corner. I mean, you know, they people was saturated, had saturated the area. But Pac had no fear because he thought he was amongst allies with some actual power, you know? So 